Good afternoon everybody, this is Bubba Fett. This is going to be my first ever YouTube video. So, a, bit, a little bit nervous, so hopefully I don't trip over my words too much. In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to install a CB radio in under 15 minutes in your truck. Um, a lot of people get to see CB radios and they're not familiar with how to wire stuff. And they kind of get scared away because they don't want to have to bother cutting, splicing wires and whatever. And CB radios are the easiest dang thing to install. A lot of the other YouTube videos that show you how to install a CB radio, they're not too informative because they leave out some steps that will um, only slow you down in the process. And I hope to iron, all out, iron out all the wrinkles in this video right here. Um, I have a Ford F-150. It's a um, 2006 model. And the CB radio I chose was just a basic starter CB radio, just an old compact Cobra model 19 DX4. Um, it's just a basic model. It has a quick switch right here. Let's see if I can get close. It allows you to switch from channel 9 to 19. And it has a CBPA switch. Um, right now, to use a PA on this, I'm going to need an external speaker. Um, and the external speaker is very easy to install. There's just an audio plug in the back. And you basically just plug the audio plug in there. And you just mount the external speaker somewhere. Um, I might do that later. I haven't decided yet. I basically screwed... Um, the CB radio and right below my cup holder. Let me try to back up and get a good view of this. Basically, cup holder slides out. CB radio is underneath it. It does catch just a little bit, but it's um, negligible. It's not going to do any damage or anything. I chose this location because it's the easiest location for me to select and operate the CB radio from the driver's seat. And then I have the microphone mounted right here underneath a change holder on the Ford model. Um, now I was rushing when I did this because I was trying to time myself and whenever you rush through something you're going to make mistakes and as you can see here this is crooked. Um, it's not that big of a deal because when the microphone's in there it's actually straight. So only when the microphone's out can you see it's crooked and basically the passenger can't see it, I can see it. So it's just going to bug the hell out of me forever because I don't plan on ever getting rid of this truck. <laughs> Alright, back to the installation. Your CB radio is going to come with a red hot wire and a black and red ground wire. First thing you want to do is find a place in your truck where you can mount your CB radio where you can find a good ground source. On my truck, the ground source is right behind this little panel. If you can see right there, I mounted the ground to this bolt that sticks out. Um, it's basically just a hex bolt. Let me get the other side of that. And basically, the screw was for the bolt screw in was sticking out the other side and I just stuck a stuck a little um, washer on there and I tightened it. It was just a junk washer I had laying in my garage. It fit fit the back of the screw really good and I basically just tightened it on there real tight to make sure it's a good connection. Alright, put that back in place. Well, let's climb underneath this dashboard. Now I don't know what the hell Ford was thinking when they made this model truck, but the circuit board it's way the hell over here under the glove box on the passenger side of the car. Most other Ford models, the uh, circuit board is under the driver's side steering wheel or over in that area where it's easily accessible. Not this model. They kind of try to shove it far up in the dashboard as they could. And to get some of these fuses, you actually have to climb in here upside down. And stand on your head to try to get some of the fuses that are behind this top row right here. Um, the fuse I chose to switch out was the cigarette lighter fuse, which was the easiest one. Now what the other videos leave out is you're going to need to get yourself a tap, a fuse tap from AutoZone. Try to get this thing out without getting my pliers. Let me try to get a better grip on this. There we go. Now basically a fuse tap, this is what a fuse tap looks like. AutoZone sells and they're about six, six bucks. You basically take the fuse out of the port and you stick it in the, the fuse tap. There's two slots on the top of it. Um, then you take your hot wire from your CB radio. Let's see if I can pull this rubber mat back. And you see that little blue thing, that's a crimper. Now basically I ran the hot wire into that blue crimper and that's just mashed it with a pair of pliers. And it creates a, few, it cre creates a circuit, a connection. And then basically, make sure your cigarette lighter fuse is in here good. And then you just stick the fuse tap in the slot where the fuse went. Make sure it goes in there good. 
I'll put that thing back on later. Alright, so now you're grounded and you got your fuse tap hooked up. And let me stress it right here. I, I really recommend getting a fuse tap. Um, some other YouTube uh, video posters like to tell you just to, you know, just stick, stick the hot wire underneath a fuse and just cross your fingers and hope it works. That's a good way to start a fire in your circuit board. Just spend the six bucks, go down to AutoZone and get a fuse tap. It's a lot, it's, it's really easy. It's, it'll save you a lot of worry. And it basically makes it a lot better, a, a better secure connection because my buddy, he keeps sticking his uh, hot wire underneath his um, circuit boards on his uh, 1998 Ford F-150. And every once in a while, um, I'll do it, his girlfriend, his kids, they'll basically just inadvertently move their foot under the dashboard and they'll knock the actual hot wire out and his CB radio lose power. Um, if he had a fuse tap, there, that wouldn't be a problem, but he, he, just, he refuses to spend the six bucks and he just keeps doing it the cheap way. And God bless him, eventually he's going to start a fire in his truck. But, alright, we got the hot wire connected, we got the ground connected. Let's turn the truck on. See if we got any power to this. And we got some power. There we go. CB radio is hooked up. Let me show you how I did the antenna real quick. Right underneath there, that's where the antenna hooks to the back of the CB radio. And I basically just fed the antenna wire behind this little black molding. And it goes right underneath this floor mat. Goes under my seat. Turn it back out. It comes out the back of my seat. And it goes through the door jam. Right here, you can see the wire. And it comes up between the cab of the truck and the bed. And it goes up to this Cobra magnetic uh, CB radio antenna that's mounted on the roof of my truck. I chose to go with a magnetic CB radio antenna because basically this is a temporary installation until I can get myself a uh, new toolbox that's not broken. And I'm basically on the new one. I'm going to mount the CB radio antenna to the back with a CB radio antenna mount bracket. But the magnetic one's doing its job just fine right now. And in fact, this uh, antenna needs to be tuned properly. Right now it's not tuned, so I'm kind of getting a wonky reception in my truck. Um, so once I get my um, CB radio tuner in the mail, then I guess that'll be my second or third video I'm going to post on YouTube is how to tune your CB radio uh, with a tuner to get the best reception possible out of it. But, I, again, I highly recommend the magnetic one. This way you don't have to drill into your truck um, at all. And I highly recommend just getting the, um, if you have a toolbox in the back of your truck, just mounting it there. And then basically you can feed it, the, the cable underneath your toolbox. And then basically it would just come out the back here. And then go into the door jam and under the seat. And go right back to the CB radio. And again, you don't have to drill in anything. And... That's ideal for me because I don't really want to drill into my truck. That does not appeal to me in the slightest. But, alright, well I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, please share any feedback about it. And I'm going to get busy working on my next YouTube video. God bless. Have a good day.